Graphs and Networks, an introduction to graph theory. Graph theory is an interesting branch of mathematics because it's relatively recent and its history is kind of cute. Not only are we looking at this particular problem for its history, but also we'll keep on referring back to this. So the problem that began this whole branch of mathematics is known as the Königsberg Bridge Problem. And there was this northern European city called Königsberg, probably city of the king, I suspect. Um, and it was, uh, had a river running through it. This is a river. And we've got an island and another island surrounded by the river, in the middle of the river. There's a bunch of bridges. There were two bridges connecting the first island to the bank here, two connecting the first island to the bank here, one bridge between the two islands, and another two connecting the second island to either bank. So classic, beautiful Russian city, etc. This is obviously a simplified version. And the problem, which was actually quite well known in 18th century Europe, they probably didn't have much, like this would have been posted on their Facebook pages, solve this problem. Um, was, can you walk over all the bridges once and once only? That is, is there a lap that you can, a path that you can take where you cross every bridge only once? And so anytime anyone tried it, no matter where they started or how they did it, they ended up either missing a bridge, like you can't go around here, there's a river in the way, or doubling up on a bridge. And there was a mathematician named Euler, I know it looks like Euler, but it's Euler, who started analyzing the problem by simplifying the diagram, representing each destination as a point. So this island is one destination, the banks are each a destination, and this island is a destination. And then, representing each of the bridges, the things that connected the two des the destinations, as lines. And so his simplified version ends up looking like that. And if we simplify it even further, we'll call those A, B, C, D. Could have done that anyhow and we just draw what we have here as our simplified version. There's two ways to go between A and B, two ways to go between B and C, one way to go from B to D, one way from C to D, and one way from A to D. This is a diagram of this problem. And this is known as a graph in graph theory. Now, graph theory is all about how we use these graphs to solve problems and the different parts of these graphs. So the elements of a graph um, we have the vertices. Now that's the plural, the singular is vertex. And these are like our, these are our dots. And they're like our destinations or our objects. Or objects or people, or whatever. The edges are the lines. And these represent the connections between the destinations or the object or the people. So here, our vertices represent destinations or places and the lines represent bridges or paths to get to them. So even though I suspect you don't need me to label this, we have D here is a vertex, and this is an edge. 
Now, the other aspect of graphs that we have to look at today is Euler have found that the solution to the Konigsberg bridge problem, which is in fact that there was no solution, you can't do it, is based on what he called the degree of a vertex. And the degree of a vertex is the number of edges connected to it. Sorry about my writing today. And an odd number of edges gives an odd degree. And obviously an even number of edges. Oh, my edges. The degree is even. So to break that down a bit, we give the degree of a vertex. So the degree of vertex D would be written DEG brackets D, that says the degree of vertex D. And there's three edges touching vertex D, so the degree is three. And therefore, because three is an odd number, the degree of D is odd. So it's an odd degree, but we also have to say what the degree is in terms of a number. So if we check this, the degree of C is three. The degree of A is three. And B, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm running out of space. The degree of B is five. So all four vertices in the Konigsberg bridge problem are odd. Now what Euler discovered was, and was able to prove, more importantly, was that if you've got a graph with more than two odd vertices, you won't be able to trace a path where you go across every edge once and once only. So basically the only way you can have a graph where you can walk every edge once and once only is if it has zero, one, or two odd vertices. Any more than that, you won't be able to do it. So this is a, an introduction to graph theory. It's really useful for analyzing all sorts of networks, scheduling airline flights, analyzing friendship networks, designing electrical circuits, uh, city planning. And while the sort of things we'll be looking at are very small problems, you can easily see, hey, look, we're analyzing a four person network. Imagine 400 people on social media, each connected to another 400 people. How do these interact and how can we get computers to analyze that? And then, I don't know, sell ads to them or something. So yeah, welcome to graph theory.